Are you an entrepreneurial engineer, but you're not interested in starting your own business, or maybe you don't have the resources to? Well, in this week's engineering management lessons video, Seth Perlman, CEO and regional manager of Menard North America, is gonna talk about how he utilized his entrepreneurial skills while working for a major corporation. Seth talks about how it is possible that you can use your entrepreneurial skills and work somewhere. You don't necessarily have to work for yourself. He's gonna talk about how he did it and how you can do it too. Here he is. When, when you work for people, you can of course just fall into place and do what they expect you to do. And that's safe, but it's not necessarily going to put you out there, you know? And, and sometimes even in previous jobs, I would have a little bit of uh, friction with the people I work for because I challenged the status quo and I thought we could do better. And, you know, in 2003, the phone rang. And they were looking for someone to run this little company called Menard and we had just purchased a small company in the U.S. And I went to France, I interviewed, I took the job. And, you know, and as I mentioned earlier in the interview, we talked about entrepreneurialism and these guys are really entrepreneurs. And I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I wasn't in a position to start something myself. So this was the closest thing to starting your own business. It just required, it was just on someone else's investment. And by being an entrepreneur, my career really took off. So it's something I always wanted to do. And the way you find it is by continuing to challenge your situation that doesn't mean you can't be compliant and do your job, but always think about, is there a place for me where I can really make a bigger impact? And if you believe you can, then don't give up on that and it will come to you eventually. I hope you enjoyed that message from Seth Perlman. It really is an important message because I know a lot of engineers that are very entrepreneurial, but they just don't have the financial resources right now, at least to start their own company. Or they also like the stability that a larger corporation may present. So there are companies out there that will take your entrepreneurial skill sets and implement them into their company and they'll really let you be an entrepreneur under that larger umbrella. I hope you enjoyed this week's engineering management lessons video. Be sure to subscribe for our weekly videos here and we want to continue to help you become the best engineering manager and leader that you can be. I'll see you next week.